Now uh, let's see the open guard point of sale barcode label uh, plugin and basically this allows the admin uh, to design and print the customized barcode labels for your product and uh, the admin can basically upload uh, the custom logo, set the height and the width, select the barcode text to display, set the order of the product attributes to be shown on the labels as well. So I'll just sh uh, be showing you that particular uh, uh, workflow. And apart from that, I'll also be showing you how the uh, admin can generate the point of sale uh, mass labels uh, from the section that's the POS product. And uh, for that, uh, the uh, admin can choose a single product. And uh, if he wants to do it in bulk, he can choose basically the multiple products. And then tap here on the mass label generate button. And that brings up this uh, pop up wherein the admin needs to use the barcode text that needs to be dis displayed on the product. So for example, if we choose uh, EAN and tap here on the print label, you'll see that uh, the labels will be generated with the same. And from here, the admin can tap on the print button to print the particular uh, labels uh, there itself. So these uh, point of sale uh, barcode labels can then uh, be added to the admin's uh, products as well. So let's go back and uh, depending upon uh, your requirement so if you want to just generate the uh, label uh, barcode label for a single product for example this one you just need to tap here on the print button then choose what you want to have within the barcode text for example if I choose SKU and then print uh, that and here you can see the uh, SKU according to that we have the particular uh, barcode label generated for the product and later we can make use of that uh, on our products itself. Now, uh, the admin can also uh, choose to display the uh, attributes on the uh, barcode label itself for the products. So here you can see that we have the barcode, we have the logo, uh, we have the name, model, and the price of the uh, product uh, for which we are going to create this particular label. And the details uh, depend upon what the admin has set up from the backend for the uh, product itself. For the uh, default uh, attributes of the product whether which ones he has selected that needs to be displayed within the barcode label itself so that was uh, how we can generate the mass labels uh, with the barcodes uh, having the logo and the product custom attributes there uh, singularly using uh, the print button for each one of the uh, products or in multiple by choosing the products and then tapping on the mass label generate then choose the barcode text that you want to display there and uh, then tapping on the print label button itself now let's go to the configuration settings uh, and see how this uh, can be set up from the back of the different configuration settings for the APOS barcode label itself so for that we just navigate through uh, extensions and uh, thereafter we'll go to the extensions then uh, under the extension type, we'll navigate to modules and here we'll go to the POS uh, label and we'll tap on the edit button. And this brings up the uh, edit POS label module uh, section here. And from here we can set up the point of sale uh, label there. So we can set the uh, status of this particular functionality as enabled or disabled. Then we have three different tabs to configure. One is the general uh, that has the uh, box width height and the box background along with the logo that would be visible on the barcode itself uh, so uh, you set the uh, box width within which the data is there that we are uh, seeing already so you can set it in pixels the box width height its background color uh, the logo's uh, width and height on the barcode label itself then we have the barcode and text under that we have the barcode and text and the general text so uh, we can set up uh, the barcode uh, details like uh, how many, uh, what, what the size of the barcode should be. You can set that in pixels here. You can set up the barcode text. So this is what we are getting there uh, to choose uh, what exactly we need to select to generate the barcode text for that particular product. Then we have the uh, text position where you want to display it, whether you want to display this uh, barcode text at the bottom or on the top then you have the text visibility status you can enable or disable that uh, particular thing to uh, enable this or to basically enable or disable the barcode uh, text that's the product ID uh, drop down that we can see at the uh, section we are going to generate the 
uh, labels then we have the product custom attributes so here are the attributes and uh, which are, have been selected by the admin uh, here and the settings would be available on the uh, label as well so for example here we have the name model price the barcode itself uh, the uh, barcode text and the logo here as you can see and according to the chosen product custom uh, custom attributes those will be displayed on the POS barcode label itself so that's how we can uh, assign the uh, barcode labels to the single or multiple products at once and how we can display the uh, different custom attributes of the product on the barcode label as well so uh, that was uh, about the barcode uh, text here and let's go to the general text so we can set up the text alignment whether we have the text in the left center or the right uh, the font family can be set up the font options whether you want to have it in the bold or uh, uh, the font should be like an italic right now you can see here and you can set up the font margin and the font size as well and lastly we have the sort order so we can set up the sort order so that we can manage the order in which the data is displayed in the barcode so if we have set up this order as barcode uh, as first then we have the barcode then we have the logo image we have the logo image the name model mpn name model uh, right now we have the price in this example so that, that's how we can set up this order of the things that we are going to display on the open card platform based web stores point of sale uh, system barcode label there so uh, thanks for watching this particular video and I hope it helped you out in understanding the uh, flow of this uh, particular plugin. And uh, please do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon to receive the latest updates uh, from our end. And if you like this particular video, do give it a thumbs up. And uh, for more questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, you can get back to us at any time uh, by just sending us a mail at support at the rate of webpool.com or you will write uh, to us at our help desk that's the webcool that's the uedes.webcool.com thanks once again and have a great day ahead